Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. As many of you know, I do videos on several different applications. Because I do those videos, I often receive emails from people who are having a problem with one of those applications. Sometimes I'm able to help them, but often I can't. When I can't, I will give them support contact info for that manufacturer or software developer. Now, I thought it would be beneficial if I do this video and I go over several different apps that I do videos for and talk about where you could get support for that app. In the description below this video, I'll have links to all these pages I'm going to be talking about. And I'll also have timestamps so that you could jump to the part of the video where I talk about your app. So, for example, if you're having a problem with Adobe, what you need to do is go to adobe.com. Again, I'll have that link below. Then, once you're there, log into your Creative Cloud account. And when you do, you should see a page similar to this. Then what you need to do is go up to this drop-down, Help and Support. Click on that, and you'll notice on the far left-hand side, there's a Contact Us button. Click on that, and when you do that, a virtual assistant will open up on the lower right-hand side of the screen. Now, you could talk to the virtual assistant. Maybe it'll be able to help you. But what I suggest you do is click right here where it says Contact Options. When you do that, you'll get more contact options. And here it's giving me a phone number. Now, I don't recommend that you jot down this number because where you live, the number may be different. So go through the steps I just did and find the number that is applicable to your region. Uh, also, it's giving you a link to community forums. If you don't want to call anyone or talk to anyone on the phone, the community forums are very useful. And I have a, a separate link in the description below this video for Adobe's community forums. Once you go here, you'll see that there is a forum for every Adobe app there is, including Lightroom and Photoshop, which I do videos on. What you could do is you could view the forum and search in that forum for the problem you're having. If you find an, uh, the problem and a fix for it, great. If not, just post your problem. Uh, Adobe support personnel do monitor these forums and they often answer questions. So this is where I would go first if I was having a problem with any Adobe application. Now let's move on. Let's talk about Skylum software. They of course make Luminar and they make Aurora HDR. If you have a problem, you would go to this web page. Again, it will be linked below and go down a little bit and you'll see right here it says contact Skylum customer support. We're always here for you. What you could do is go here, enter your name, your email address, then go to this drop down, and you're probably going to go to technical support. That's where you want to go. And then you'll be able to uh, type in the information um, about the problem you're having with either Luminar or Aurora HDR, and hopefully they'll be able to help you. Also, if you're Air Magic user, which I've never done videos on Air Magic, you could get support here as well. Now let's move on. Let's go to Topaz Labs. If you're having a problem with any Topaz Labs product, you would go to this web page and you could see at the top, submit a request. Click on that and when you do, you'll be able then to pick the specific product. Let's say you're having a problem with Sharpen AI. Then you would click there and then you go through and you really have to just keep drilling down. So let's say uh, my, my program, I don't know, crashes unexpectedly. Uh, click there. Then you could go through and you could give your email address, uh, headline, give a description. They're asking you for the operating system and so on. So then you could go and submit your problem. They will give you a ticket number and hopefully they'll answer in a speedy manner and fix your issue. Let's go on to On One. On One Software is of course um, On One Photo Raw 2021 is the current product. They also have On One 360. If you're having any issue with an on-one product, you would go to this page. Down here at the bottom, there's a big button, Submit a Request. Click on that, and from here, go to the drop-down. You have technical support problem, click there. Again, give all the info, and hopefully they'll get back to you with a fix. Next, we'll go to Capture One. If you have problems with Capture One, go to this page. It's kind of inconspicuous right up here in the top right hand side to submit a request there. Of course, on these pages, you'll notice there's frequently asked questions and things like that. There are forms on some of these pages similar to the Adobe form. You may want to try there, but if you want to go right to 
the manufacturer and or the software developer and ask them, you know, or tell them what your issue is. Go right here to submit a request with Capture One, and again, enter all your info, and hopefully they get back to you in a timely manner. Finally, uh, next we'll go to DxO. DxO makes Pure Raw, the Nick Collection, Photo Lab Four. I've done videos on all those products. They also make DxO Film Pack Five, which I've never done videos on, and DxO Viewpoint Three, which I've never done videos on. But if you have any issue with any of those five products, what you do is go up right at the top, sub submit ticket, and click on that. And similar to all the others, you go to the drop down, and then you're going to want like technical support troubleshooting, and then enter your problem, your information, and all that stuff there. Upload any files so that you could help, you know, anything that will help them help you, definitely uh, try to do, and hopefully they'll get back to you with a fix. And finally, I've done videos on Exposure Software. They were formerly called Alien Skin Software. Their current product is Exposure X6. Um, what you could do is go to this web page if you have a problem. You could either go to this little submit a request right here or go to the big button right here. And when you do that, you'll be able to again enter your info and the problem you're having. And hopefully someone from technical support will be able to fix the issue for you. So there's all the different places you would go to get technical support from a lot of the software that I do videos on. Again, in the description below this video, I'll have links to all these web pages, and I'll also have timestamps so you could jump to the part of this video that pertains to the software application you're having an issue with. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.